Hello and welcome to Cherry Hills. Um, you catch us here. Um, we're still on the same game day as our last episode, but we are moving on with some tasks and um, we're about to do a bit of um, cultivation um, in one of our fields. Now, <clears throat> um, off camera, we fixed our field too. Um, it turns out what we needed to actually do was just plow up or cultivate up the area of the join of the two fields and then rescan the field um, and that basically picked it all up um, so when we cultivated it and then ran over it with the roller um, it that solved the, the problem um, so something that gave me that kind of idea was actually this uh, field here this is field 10 um, basically what we did with field 10 was um, you know we had this cultivated section here and rolled over with the rolled it, roller and that basically solved you know that kind of cut this over so basically um, when I um, kind of looked at this field I thought hmm yes oh almost um, that's the way we, we solve this problem so um, basically yeah that's how we we, we, we solved the, the issue so we are going to do a uh, course play we're going to field work this with this very big cultivator we've got this is field 10 it's a 25 meter width 24 actually point four according to this we are starting in the southeast corner and we are going to go west now this is a big field so we're going to do a headland on this and this should there we go uh, start us off. So I just need to kind of line myself up um, so that basically we um, are golden. Um, and then we will we'll kick this one off. Um, what I'm actually thinking as well is okay, so we're going to start at the first waypoint. Um, hopefully we are close enough to it to actually start the drive the course so yeah um, basically um, we are going to run this and um, we've, we've fertilized this field uh, it's got chopped straw on it um, we should be good for a good bit of um, thing and the interesting thing is, and I've never actually tried this um, with course play, this, this width anyway. Um, so we do lose a bit of the corner, but to be honest, I don't mind. Um, because this should make this field doddle. So, I'm going to jump out now, and I'm going to run over and let that guy go. Um, that should deal with the field. So, one of the things we need to do, we've, field 1 is ready, field 2 is being prepared and field 3 is still being prepared with fertiliser. Um, what I need is, uh, field 1 needs a plough. Actually, do we need to plough any fields? I don't actually think we do. Uh, 5 needs ploughing. Ah, 5 needs ploughing. Okay, so we fertilise 5, but we do need to plough it. Um, <clears throat> So, okay, that's fine. Um, right, so, my thought is, um, is basically this, uh, wherever we are. So, um, right, we need to do field one. And We could use we could use one of the plow, the cultivated plows that's down there actually. Um, there is one down here I think. Yeah, this guy. Um, uh, which size plow is that? Is that the nine or is that that's not that's the nine? That's a small one. Um, I don't really want to use a small one. Um, so let's take this back to the farm. I'm going to sell this because I don't really want to use this. Um, let's get ourselves a new one. Let's get ourselves a big 25, another 25 meter one. Um, we'll take this up and we'll get a new 
pollen tractor as well because this is one of the E's. So you want an R, uh, the uh, MT uh, 875R, which we have on the other. Um, we've got this wash plow. Uh, this is the smaller one. We don't use this one anymore. It's too small for the fields. Um, so we're going to use the big plows. So I'm going to drop this off at the um, sale point. We'll sell this off. And um, we will kick on with a new... I'm going to nip in this side. Um, we're going to kick off with one of the new... The, the, the big bad plows, uh, sorry cultivators, so the, the big wide cultivator I think. Um, that I think is the best bet. So we'll dispose of this and then we'll replace it. We'll have them delivered to the yard, um, so we'll buy them and reset them. Um, that that cultivator is too big to depend on the roads, so... Um, right. Sell that, and then we will sell that, and then we will do a purchase. So the tractor we we want is um, we want this guy. We we'll get the eight eight five turbo in black, and we want the cultivator. We want this big boy. Um, I do like this guy. Um, we won't use the all rounder. Um, that is a plow, so um, we did get one. Right, so we should have two up here. Um, I've got. Um, so there's still a bit of stuff up here actually um, from our kind of previous purchases so um, I just want to make sure um, that we get the right thing um, And then we should jump down here. Um, so this is um, quite a powerful tractor. So it's actually a really good one for. Um, I mean, we've, we've we've essentially made a net loss, but um, we've actually got new equipment. We do need two of these actually, because um, we're always waiting on this one. So we can do two fields at once now. Um, I'm going to do field one. So get field one prepped. This field, uh, field three, um, we are currently um, we are currently doing the um, for t uh, the manure. So that's still underway. Um, now, the thing about course plays means we don't have to do some of the tricks we were doing before, um, especially on this field. Although, uh, running. Actually, well, if we want to run two. Um, actually, if we want to run two, actually, we still actually have to use AI extension. Um, interesting. Um, yeah, interesting thought, actually. I might have to put AI extension back. I kind of want to do that. So, um, let's get to field work, we're in field one, we're at a 25 meter width, we're in the northeast corner, we are going to go south. Um, we're going to do a headland, because um, this is a big thing, and we will start that off, go to that, start at the first waypoint. And we should open up. And um, there we have it. 
Let's see how this works. It's actually times like this where I actually realise I'd left the. I, I wish I'd kind of left the original corners of the field, but um, instead of squaring them off, but because uh, we wouldn't lose much. Um, but that's fine. So this guy's just going to roll this. Um, we're at max speed for the equipment, so um, we, we're going as fast as we can possibly go. Um, what would you use four-wheel drive? Um, should make life a little bit easier. This is a tracked vehicle, so it should be um, fairly straightforward, to be honest. And we're good. So we have um, two two um, things running um, since you cultivation. We have um, this one's doing uh, this field, so it's done the edges, as you can see and um, is now working on the rest. This guy is pretty close to being finished actually um, on this field. Not far, far off. This one seems to have taken an awful long time to do. Um, we've kind of, um, we, so you can see we split the field now. Uh, the other thing we've done off camera um, is over here we had that little vehicle park. We put a new um, shed down um because basically i didn't like the old shed um it was a little bit there so i've kind of replaced that with a nicer shed well it's a um one doesn't hover off the ground essentially because uh, it's got these little concrete feet which kind of um stick in and kind of deal with the unevenness which is cool so it's nice and level and it doesn't look crap um so yeah we, we're good there um so yeah, we're running these. Um, so this field is being done. We will need to move a plough up here. So actually, um, let's actually take this guy up. So this is uh, this is the plough we need. Um, he needs to be fueling actually. Um, so let's first off let's take this guy. Actually, let's first off let's. Um, just do some maintenance on him actually. Um, hmm. How long are we doing maintenance on him? Um, okay, so we do need to sort of. Um, I'm going to run this down to the farm. Um, we need to fuel him up. I don't think we can get away with that actually. Let's let's get away with that. Um, I'm going to pick up some logs actually at some point. Um, do need to check on the logging. So there's a few things that do need checking in on um, post um, um, our little foo bar. I mentioned in the last episode with the time, uh, accelerated time and the game server in multiplayer. Uh, I do need to check on the status of the uh, fill for the lumber yards um, and the, um, the uh, charcoal factory as well as the other one that I'm thinking. Um, I'm pretty sure our paper products mill, uh, wood products mill, is literally still full because um, it had like six million in it. So this guy's just finished going round. Um, hopefully he's gonna. It's going up the hill with, with ease. <laughs> um, it's kind of scary. Um, yeah, so that field there, field five, is our target. I'll run this guy over him because, um, yeah, I say it needs plying. So this is our um, 
all round a plough, um, which we will be using on that field. Um, so that is basically when the spreader is finished. Um, we've got a lot of spraying going on at the moment. It's kind of funny, we literally just got so many sprayers. We've got two cultivators going and a sprayer and, two, and three sprayers. Um, so he's going to just pop there. Um, I'm just trying to think. He's. Um, Show how far in he is actually. He's done the edge. We cut. Actually, let's. Yes, so actually, that's actually quite useful. Um, so he's actually not very far in. So we do need to kind of wait it out. Um, this guy is working nicely. This guy is working nicely too. Um, it's actually. Yeah. This is actually not cult um, cultivating in the way I expected it to do it. Damn. Um, it should be fine because of the headland. Um, this is not the way I would have, um, I kind of planned it to go. Um, I should have checked this out. Um, it should be okay. Because we've got a headland, he turns in the headland, so it should be okay. Um, and the distance and everything, so we shall see in a minute how well he does. Um, I actually wanted it to be this way. I should pay more attention. Well, I, I kind of started it in this corner. I think it's because I've got the direction wrong. I should want it to go north as opposed to um, west. I think I set it. Yeah, I set it to west because uh, I figured he was going to go that way to start with. Um, that's fine. Um, when we we're doing the headland, I got a little bit confused, but that's cool. Um, but yeah, we kind of keep an eye on that. We're not keeping any of these plots anywhere at the moment because uh, I haven't. I'm testing things out and trying to get the best approaches, um, and then. Obviously, with this one, this is definitely not the best approach. Um, so we'll uh, we'll do it a different way. Uh, going up, uh, vertically is better on this one because it actually means less turns. However, it does mean we don't screw up at the top and lose it at the top. But I mean, essentially, he's turning here on this, so um, it should be enough. Hopefully, we should be fine. We'll find out in a little while. Um, okay. Turn it off. Um, so, yeah, let's see. What other fields do we need? So, this one's underway, this one's underway, this one's underway, this one is. Is it finished yet? Nope, it's not finished yet. This one is taking a long time to do. So, every field is being worked at the moment. Um, Essentially, there's one field that we haven't even touched. We haven't touched it for ages and ages, actually. Is this field six? Um, field six is our grass field. It's all nicely fertilized as well, so we could, in theory, actually do something with it. Let's pop up here. Um, let's, let's just move this out of the way. Um... So, hold on a second, is this full? It is full. Um, we've got a, a rather weird amount of um, silage in there. Um, so, interestingly, we have quite an interesting thing going on here. Um, we have obviously the um, let's just 
It wasn't slowing down at all. So I'm just wondering actually, is there a vehicle way in the shop up here? Or is it at the... Um, Done this in here. Um, okay, this, this is this crazy thing that we have with the um, <coughs> some of the loads on these um, IT runners um, that they just <coughs> it doesn't matter which truck it is, and there's always a weird thing that goes on with the trailer um, on these trailers. So what I'm thinking and what I'm trying to figure out actually is we if we do field six with the mower and we take um, we take field six we just drop that in there um, we take field six and we we mow it. Uh, one of the things we can do with course play is we can get um, the grass pickup automated. Now, the question is, is that, fifth, is that four? No, it's not. Is can we use that? We, you know, we can use um, course play to do the grass pickup. Now, the trick here is to have it drop it off in appropriately in a sado. Um, now the thing is, so it's it's a weird one because these are not drive through, and I I do have I've had you know when we we tried this with um, Snetterton's farm, um, the the silo drop off um, isn't ideal. Um, so what I'm actually thinking is we use. Um, we do a different drop off. Um, we do a different drop off in this. Um, we drop it off into maybe a bunker. Um, so we actually have a bunker here. Well, not a bunker, a storage. That takes grass. I can't remember what the capacity is. Um, we can manually do that load. Um, or could we just drop the grass into the BGA? There's one option. Um, that is something we could do. Um, we could go to composter. Could, so many things we could potentially do. Um, need to sort of um, yeah I need to figure that out um, what we can do on that front but we want to get this up and running again um, it should be fairly straightforward um, once how much we got oh, we've got 240k in there so we do need to empty that out um, so the stuff we can do here um, but we can do field I'm not going to cut field six until I know what um, so I can sort of do some Kind of unloading concepts with this. Um, now we do have, I say, we have our. If we go up to our our, our central distribution, this is the. Uh, we do need to do a bit of things. So one of the things we've kind of done is I've tweaked some of the um, capacities of these, so it's a bit lower, uh, so you can now see a little bit more of this is the stuff that's in here. Uh, you see we've got paper at 36%. Um, and we have, that's still quite low. That's still quite low. Flowers quite high. We do need to unload some of that. We've got our various things. These guys do need, um, actually these guys do need some foot, um, manure and stuff. Um, so we will probably do Probably next episode or a couple of, in uh, at least one or two episodes time we'll be doing some unloading of this lot. 
getting them into trucks and taking them to the store or to the relevant locations like the fire needs to go to the um, to the, the bakery for instance um, the bread needs to go to the store uh, the paper and, and so on needs to go to the store and so on so we, we've got stuff we can do and, and we will do with these so we, we shall be doing some of that in up and coming episodes um, we obviously are going to be preparing these fields and getting those ready um, we'll you know get our fields cut and all that kind of stuff we're using course play now so we can actually use that to do some transportation for us so we can get a course play truck route essentially going um so effectively i can do a course play truck route which will unload at the brewery for instance um and we can do a course play truck route that will go to the bakery um side of the bakery the flour mill um and that kind of thing so there is going to be some scope for some some interesting things that we can do with um, things so i did mention earlier on in the episode that we do need to check out this location um, make sure that we are uh, we have enough wood in these um, so with that in mind that has zero um, that has fuel that has um, that has wood, but it doesn't. Uh, but it's um, it's full of things. So we'll just load that there. Okay, so we need to get some wood into this. Uh, there's a bit of wood here we can probably do. Um, where is the log pipe? It's over there. Um, let's can we move that over here. Um, so just unload all that. Oh, we do need to essentially take that um, out. So I'm going to just set this into um, pick up one of those actually. Um, We actually do need these. Um, I think we will. I've been kind of sat on these for a while. We need to set these down here. So um, let's do a quick run um, down. So we definitely need to sort out the. Oops, I'm going a bit quick on that. We definitely need to sort out the um, the lumber mills. We'll go and move some wood. We do have quite a bit of wood stuck around. Um, just haven't run out of our wood from our logging um, ex um, exercise down on field one so we shall get some of this wood that's down here uh, by the field we're just passing take that up and drop it off um, we can drop that off at both of them actually they both need wood um, great thing is we've got so much of it it's, it does run out, but effectively we won't need to do any locking on this map for a while. A few episodes at least. And we can keep stuff going. Um, we'll drop this out. We need to drop this off at the, um, the charcoal factory. Um, because we do actually need some... Ooh, almost. Um, we do need some uh, pallets there. Um, those parts are required for things. So we do that guy there needs. I think we've actually, I think we've actually um, loaded up that truck uh, fully. Um, that truck's been sat there a while. It's got full of uh, veg um, of um, fresh produce. So uh, that needs um, loading at some point and taking up thing. This guy, um, we just need to drop off a few of these just so we've got them on site um, just, we will leave them in our usual spot around the side here um, 
there is a bunch of things we need to do. Um, the trick is, and this is the tricky thing, well, oh, this is the crafty thing. That's all four, right? Put this into um, pickup mode. We can kind of cheekily um, pick up all of those. And um, basically, these all need to go in here. And the great thing is, we can just do. all in there and uh, that should unload all our, our sort of thing you need um, boardwood pallets are thing we've got lots of pallets um, this guy's gonna start running actually this guy um, fuel. Ah, we need um, a dump truck um, the dump truck that's certainly sat up at the, um, the store is the dump truck for this site. Um, I, we kind of need to sort of move that. So what I might do is just reset that down here actually. I'll reset it closer to the spot. Um, so yeah, we, we need to move that down here. I will actually bring that down. So that is that is pretty much um, all for today's episode. Um, I am going to drive this truck down there. Whilst we drive the truck down there, we will uh, close out the episode. Um, I am going to cheat. I'm going to drive straight through this field. Um, <laughs> it's my field. I can drive through it. So um, we're on Cherry Hills. Um, we are running on single player. Um, we have changed the way we're playing this map a little bit. Um, we are currently prepping our fields for um, cultivation and ploughing and so on, ready for the next crop. Um, we have a lot of stuff running, as you can see. We've got course play running on five um, pieces of equipment, um, ready to kind of um, set stuff up. We are going to have um, quite a bit of stuff going on on this, on this map going forward um, so we should have some fun with this um, we're running only at the moment Cherry Hills and Snetterton's farm we've kind of sidelined um, American Outback for the moment um, we will pick that up at some point but I think we're going to just run with the two um, We've got a few map reviews coming up. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of our Snetterton's Farm and Cherry Hill series, please subscribe to the channel. And ignore my crap driving as I ram a truck. And please, yeah, say, please, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and watch out for our episodes. And um, with that, thank you all for watching. Um, have a great day and uh, goodbye. See you guys next time.